Yo, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. I hope you guys are having a blessed, great day. I'm doing well myself because look, man, we got the whip back. Praise God. Victory Screech! <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, God, for giving me the car back, even though materialistic things do not matter. Don't get it twisted. We live off the Holy Spirit, not the world. Anyways, yeah, man, we finally got it back, bro. So life is looking up, but I still got to remember I have to praise God. I have to never forget to praise God even when he brings me into a better season of my life. I need to remember to praise him every day and I need to tell more people about Jesus, which gets me into my point today, dude. I actually told my, I told another, I told my boss about Jesus. I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm grateful, bro. God is, this Holy, what the Holy Spirit is doing to me. It's molding me and making me tell more people about Jesus every day. So I'm grateful for it, bro. Just praise God, man. But yeah, I'm still trying to figure out this upload schedule. So bear with me, bro. I <laughs> I have to edit today, so today is Wednesday, so I'm trying to get an edit today, maybe a late night edit, who cares, I'm going to try to get the video out tomorrow, and then today I'm filming, and I'm going to try to get this video out on Friday, and it's going to be, oh, I'm doing back today, so yeah, that's what we got on the clock, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and go watch the last video, it's fire, um, hope you guys enjoyed that, I already said that, I don't care, <laughs> anyways, yeah, but I'm looking on a time crunch, so let's hop in the car and head to the gym, and then we'll get into a verse then, and yeah, we'll go from there. But I'll see y'all then. All right, y'all, fast forward some time. At the gym now in my car, I'm about to just do this verse for you guys. Um, so today's verse is 2 Corinthians 4, verse 7, and it says, we now have this light shining in our hearts, but we ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from ourselves. So this this ties into when you have the Holy Spirit and Christ inside your heart. You you have like Christ says, we're supposed to be the light of the world. We're supposed to be the light of the world to spread light to people in darkness. Um but the fact that we're fragile clay pots, fragile clay jars containing this great treasure is we don't even know we have this treasure inside of us, like like welcoming Christ into our hearts. And and um, we fall short, which is what makes us fragile. Like we fall short all the time. Even when you walk with Christ, you fall short because we're sinners. So you fall. What it means by fall uh, by being fragile is you falling into sin. And it just makes it clear that. Our great power is from God, not from ourselves, because without the Holy Spirit and being able to fight off temptation and all of that, we wouldn't be able to do that without the Holy Spirit and God's word and Christ. We wouldn't be able to do that at all. So that's basically what it's saying here. But yeah, man, like I'm just so grateful for what God's doing for me right now because he's molding me and I can see he's molding me to be better. And I, I'm, I'm, I feel I'm getting better, too, because I'm serving God more and I'm doing things in God's will. So I really highly recommend you guys just do your best. If you're struggling with your walk of Christ and you're starting, just just do your best. You know, like, like God's not expecting you to come full hand and be perfect automatically. Like some people, they do. They give their life to Christ like immediately. But I mean, everybody's walks different. So you can't really judge yourself or be mad at yourself for it. But yeah, man, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, I'm about to head into the gym. Um, I'm actually doing chest and back today, but I'm just gonna show you guys a back workout. Um, I missed the ch I missed the Monday for my chest day, so I'm just gonna include it. Um, but I have like two hours, so let's see if we can get all that in. Um, and then I gotta go pick up my fiance. So, okay, I say wife and fiance at the same time. It's my wife, bro. I don't care. I love her, and she, bro. Thank God for her, bro. She literally like holds me down so much, like. The only way to find the wife, guys, is Christ and God. That's the only way. That's the only way. And when you have a wife and have somebody that cares about you, you got to care for them the same way they care for they care about you. And don't take them for granted because you'll regret it the rest of your life. So just don't do it. And if you find that person, you find a good person, and they're a believer, 
preferably a believer because you know then it's a covenant between you and god stick with them bro because you'll spend a great lifetime with them so i love you babe appreciate you if you're watching this i know you're watching it but i love you um but yeah let's get this workout in and i'll catch y'all in the gym Alright, <clears throat> in the gym now. Um, it's busy again, so another busy gym day. That's what happens when you come at 5.30. Everybody's out from work. It's all good though, bro. We're not going to let it kill our spirit. Anyways, start white grip, black pull downs. Um, I'm going to do, I'd say, like four sets of 10 to 12 here. First set's probably going to be warmer set, just focusing on controlling it. I'm not trying to swing my body. And then the next sets obviously go heavier, and we'll go from there. It's going to be a fire back day, though, so stay tuned. And I'll leave the workout in the comments, so y'all better go run this up. Try it. Try it for me, please. But yo, this hoodie too, fire. This hoodie's fire. Um, I'll show you guys later if I even have it on. But it's revenge, and it has like a cross, it makes a cross in the back, and it's fire. But yeah, we're going to get into this. It's a locked in workout. Uh, I actually have less time than I thought. So my, I might honestly need to leave and come back and finish this workout. But hopefully I can pump it out. It's only like, we did first movement, so the second movement, we're doing the high row. Um, probably one hand, eh, maybe both hands. And then, nah, I'll probably just do both hands, yeah. But here I'm starting with two plates. Um, I'm gonna see how heavy we can It's probably gonna be three plates. But it's a locked in workout. The first set's gonna be straight, just squeeze the, the bottom and then come up slow. But probably three, four sets here. Uh, eight to ten, just because I'm gonna go pretty heavy. So, now yeah, we'll go from there, bro. But, dude, like, just from those wide grip, like, lap pull downs, my back is on fire, bro. <laughs> so, let's get into it. Alright, I'll do this. You know, I'm gonna call it the low row because it's basically what it is because it's like a lower pull. But, bro, solid back day. Not even gonna cap. Like, this is a solid, solid back day. Even though I'm on a time crunch, it's still solid. Sometimes you don't even need to be going six, seven exercises. You can just come in, do four or five, and you're chilling. You got the craziest pump ever. That's how I'm feeling right now. Locked in. Turn up in the gym. Yo, if, you, if you're not your own height there, bro, in the gym, I mean, it's great to work out with people because you can get those, like, force reps. Oh, but I don't know. Just me, when I'm working out by myself, I just be turned up by myself. <laughs> um, dude, Caleb Gordon, highly suggest, is, like, a Christian artist. Most fire music bro like honestly out of anybody like I've listened to in this world bro like all this worldly music versus his music where you preach in the word and spread light it's ten times better than anything else so anyways two plates on the dash I don't know why I said on the dash <laughs> but yeah probably like I don't know bro. three three four sets eight to ten and then we don't go into a wide grip seated bro work the upper back, middle upper back, but yeah, let's get into this. On the three plates, 
I might kill myself. If I can do 6-8, I'm chilling with that. We'll see what happens. But, good. This gym is so freaking crowded, bro. But, hey, I'm, I hope I'm still getting, like, fire shots for you guys. Hope you're still enjoying it. Um, I can't get, like, the craziest, you know, in-between stuff, you know. I know y'all been seeing that. I've been doing that in previous, in, in previous videos lately. I've been doing, like, crazy shots. But, I don't know, bro. So hopefully we don't kill myself. Let's get it. All right, on this wide grip, Cedar bro. Um, this is the finishing, man. And then we go get into some posing. Hope you guys are enjoying it. This is probably gonna be a quick video now that I think about it. Um, but I know you guys still enjoy it. We'll do probably three sets of 10 to 12 here. Just focus on not like swinging my body. Um, that's the main focus here. Cause I notice that's what I kind of struggle with is swinging my body on Cedar Rose. So, what we getting into, man? Yeah, we're gonna finish with this. Get posing. All right, y'all. Mike's about to die. We gotta get some posing in. My pants are falling down. I, I hope they haven't been falling down this whole time I've been in the gym. But let's get into some posing, bro. Let's see how. <clears throat> but yeah, man, let me know how we're looking in the comments. Thank you, for, thank you guys for supporting your boy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll leave the workout in the description. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if it was quick. <sighs> Bro, see you later. My pants, pants are falling down again. Literally.